Welcome all. Uh, welcome to this orientation session and the screening test for the Selenium Live project. So what I'll do today is I have a few slides to run across and give you an idea of what you can expect as part of this entire live project. And uh, at the end of this about 10 minutes odd presentation, we will start a test, a very technical test and I'll show you some details on that as well. So now as part of this, let me quickly walk you through a few things. So uh, basically the whole idea is to try and get you exposed uh, to a very real life world in the automation testing space. Okay? So you have probably either been working in the software testing industry or you're someone new, but as part of this project, I intend to provide that skill that you will gain as working in a, a real life automation project. Okay, So what are the challenges, how you will go about resolving them, how will you work on different tasks and how will you work with a distributed team and so on. Okay, So please make the best out of this program by making sure that you watch the videos along with what is happening uh, in the live project. Okay. You try and read through all the documentations, the scripts, and everything that is getting generated. So, uh, and then you should try and repeat and practice this. So primarily, more importantly, for people who are not able to attend this project in a live manner and execute it, you can do a simulation of the same project at your end, repeat it, and at that time, while watching the videos and looking at the scripts, the automation frameworks and everything that is being generated, you can try and flow similarly. Okay. Now, uh, any specific prerequisites? Uh, yes, one is you definitely need to be a Selenium Premium member. Two, you will have to go through this specific test and make sure that uh, you get through it. Uh, if you, you will be able to know if you're way off or you're close to getting into this project. The reason that is important is if you do not have the basic skill and you get into the team environment, it will be hard for your team members to be able to carry you along with it. Okay, So make sure you're committed to the project and you're not uh, doing casual participation. It will require up to, I would say, between 5 to 20 hours of effort a week. I say 5 to 20 hours. So it's not a full 40 hours a week project. It is a part-time kind of a thing. And it will be about two to four weeks, depending on when I show you the entire application and do the uh, detailed walkthrough. But please make sure that you have at least spent two to four weeks in going through the core training. All right. So if you have just joined Selenium training uh, under IT Learn, I would not recommend you to start with this live project right away. Finish the training, watch some of the fundamental videos and concepts and only then try and get into this live project. Okay, So uh, you will be asked to share uh, your contact details, where you're located and the timings so that we could divide the entire team into different teams and uh, be able to then organize these sessions accordingly. Okay, There is a lot of work in terms of coordination uh, with different members and uh, to do this, uh, we will need to work together as a team. You will also have to do uh, reviews of what the other teams are doing and so on. Primarily, when I say team, what happens is the same work, scope of work of automation testing of my project will be given to all the teams. So this, each team will be doing, trying to perform the same work in different fashion, in different manner. Okay. So what that means is, uh, you will see a lot of redundancy, but also different ways of trying to achieve the same thing. And then you also should get an opportunity to review how the other teams are doing, and that will be a great learning experience at the end of it. Okay? I will also have a team um, that will work to coordinate and lead you through this entire effort and try and guide you as you go through the process. Okay. So primarily we'll start with the intro to the project. That is what I'll start with. Then you will go about getting an understanding of the detailed functionality of what it requires. You will start with writing manual test cases because then you know what you're going to be automating. 
you would then design and implement either one or more automation frameworks uh, using Selenium, uh, using Code Java with combination of JNIT and WebDriver. Primarily, that is what you're going to be doing. And then you're going to execute the test cases and report the defects. So this is going to be what you're going to do. All right. So there is a limited scope, but at the same time, there are a lot of things that you need to perform accordingly. And then uh, we will get to the end of it. All right. All right. So uh, now the whole intent is towards the end of this exercise, you uh, would have acquired uh, a good foot footing in the following areas. Okay, how do things work in a very practical environment? How do you work and communicate with a team that is either local or remote? How are you able to prioritize your tasks, your issues, your communications? and how you're able to work through uh, the entire cycle in a very professional manner, okay? As part of this, you will see that for the next two to four weeks, you'll be very focused in this activity. Uh, the group meetings where I am presenting and you're all listening will not necessarily be so extensive. We might do more of once or at the max twice a week, but you will have daily team meetings where you along with your team will be meeting on a daily basis. Every team will be identified a, a point of contact who uh, will be trying to coordinate within the team and this can this point of contact can keep changing uh, every week. So one week uh, there would be someone who's representing, the second week a different person and so on. Uh, so this participation is very important uh, and th that's the reason I want to make sure that you are committed to it. Okay. There is a lot of activity at your end and very less at my end. Okay, so you will be the one along with your team doing a lot of hard work. What comes back to me is trying to put everything together more like a project management uh, and make sure that we are going together in the right direction. All right, so that's about the uh, primary purpose of this. Now, if there are questions team, I would suggest then email them. I will compile them into answers and send it across. But if there are very specific questions, please feel free to put it in the chat so that I can answer them quickly. Okay. Uh, so before I go into the test, which is a very basic information, it is a simple test about 30 questions. 30 minutes is an overkill. You don't need 30 minutes. You can typically do it between 10 to 15 minutes because uh, you have multiple options to choose from and that's it. This is more of a self assessment to be able to assess yourself as to where you are. And there is no specific benchmark that you do at least 20 questions or 25 questions and so on. But you will know how comfortable you are. While the focus is on Code Java, Selenium IDE, WebDriver and data driven framework, there could be questions that you probably have not been exposed to and that is fine. Okay. So if you think there is a question that you don't know an answer to specifically, you can try and uh, uh, make a guess out of what is coming up, but then post the test, you can go back and review your uh, choices. Okay. Uh, so the uh, test is very simple. If there are questions regarding the training, uh, please put it in the chat. I will come back to you. Uh, but the test can be started now. Uh, once you're ready, I can launch it. Hopefully it's about 7.18 at the moment. So uh, I think by 7.45, uh, we should be able to end this test. But I just wanted to make sure if there are any important questions that I can answer before I get there. Is there a negative marking? No, I don't think so. It's just basically, um, again, uh, how, 30 questions, how many questions you answer correctly out of it. How test is going to be, is that, so I, I'm going to show you how the test will be. It will be through go to training. You will attend it right now uh, once we start it. Okay. All right. So regarding the project, we will start with the second session. This is in fact the first session. The second session, I will go and dig deeper into uh, the entire application, 
what needs to be done, I will assume that you are someone who's coming with very basic skill on automation and uh, that is how I will proceed from there. But if you are absolutely beginning into automation, you've not gone through my videos or have not practiced, then I would not recommend you to go through this live project right now. You can go through the recordings later. What is the criteria of selection? Is there any some percentage required to qualify? Again, as I told you, there is no specific percentage, but it is a good way to assess depending on um, the majority of participants and how they are doing. I can take a gauge later, but we will come back to you once the test is done and the training ends, the result will come up. You will get your results by Thursday. Within 48 hours, you will get your results emailed to you. All right. All right. Okay. So let's get started with the test um, and I'm going to stop the recording now and get to the test.